Okay. Okay, you want to teach me something? Yes, I want to teach you something. All right. Okay, why don't we do steep turns? Okay. So, pull out the checklist here. I think we have a maneuvering checklist. Pre-maneuver. Pre-maneuver. There we go. Okay, landing light on. Go ahead and turn on. Is this one? Air conditioning as required. It's required it's, to be on today. Yeah. It's, it's 100 to. degrees and like 100% humidity. <laughs> Way too brutal. <laughs> okay, mixture set. Okay, we're gonna leave it where it's at. Okay. Fuel quantity state. We have 27 gallons. Okay. Fuel selector valve, fullest tank. They're even right now, so we'll leave it on the right tank until our timer goes off to remind us to switch. Okay, and area clear. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and stow your checklist, and we're gonna make two 90 degree turns to clear the area. Since we've got autopilot on, why don't we do that so that our workload is lower, we can look outside really good. So you're gonna take this knob right here, it's called heading, and you're gonna put it on a west heading, so just turn it to the left, yep. And the airplane's gonna begin a turn, you can have your eyes down while it begins that turn and you get your heading bug set, and then we'll be looking outside, scanning for traffic. All the way west? Yep, yeah, you can spin it fast, it's not gonna hurt the airplane. There you go. Okay, so now we're looking outside, and we're scanning small sections of sky at a time to hopefully catch movement and other aircraft that could be in our area. We don't see anybody on the traffic screen, and so we're doing our visual scan to back that up. Now we'll do a turn back to the north. Same thing, we'll turn that heading knob, yep. And we'll be looking outside. I'm not seeing any traffic. Looks like a pretty clear area for us to do maneuvers. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to perform a steep turn. When was the last time you flew? At the controls. Oh, five years ago. <laughs> so it's going to be an exciting lesson. So what we're going to do first is disconnect the autopilot. So that's this AP button right here. I'm going to give you a few instructions before we press that so that it's easier for you to understand and digest them. Uh, so steep turns. Remember we do a full 360 degree turn and we're going to do it at a 45 degree bank angle which is going to feel pretty steep compared to our normal turns. So 45 degrees is indicated right there on your screen. So this small white triangle underneath is going to be lined up right on that short line. And when we get there, so you're going to be putting in the controls, right, to, to bank this over like that, just like you did on our normal turns. Uh, when we get there, it's going to feel like the airplane wants to keep turning. So you'll have to actually turn slightly to the right to stop it from continuing to go over. And I'll coach you through it a little bit. The other thing we want to do as we make that turn is hold altitudes. Right now we're at 3,500 feet. We're going to try and hold that the whole way through. So you'll be making small movements forward and back to keep that altitude from changing. Right? So if you see you're descending, we're going to pull back. If you see we're climbing, you're going to release some of that pressure. When we turn, the airplane has a tendency to descend. So we already know you're probably going to be pulling back more than you'd be pushing forward. And if you pull too much, it's okay. Just release some of that pressure. Don't let it all go. Just release a little bit. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and turn the autopilot off. Press that AP button. Then press it one more time. It'll stop that noise. Okay? And... Uh, we're ready to start when you're ready. So we're just going to bank over. Uh -huh, to the yep. Keep going. Good. And when we get to this big tick mark, go ahead and start applying a little bit of back pressure. Just pulling back a little bit. Good, good. Keep going all the way over to the small tick mark. That's 45 degrees. Good, keep going. Pull back a teeny bit. Good, keep going all the way to 45 degrees. Excellent. So I know we don't have a really clear view of the horizon today, but this is kind of what we wanted to look like outside. You just try and match that angle, keep it going around, and if you're seeing a lot more ground come into view, it means we're descending, you need to pull back. If it looks like you're only looking up at the blue sky, it means we're climbing and we can release a little bit of that pressure. Good, and you just cross-check inside. So you're maybe 10 seconds outside, two seconds inside, right? Outside, outside, inside, checking. Outside, outside, inside, checking. Fox traffic, Skyhawk 5348, getting over flying the field, 3,500. Good. Bottom. And you're natural. 
Like yeah. within a hundred feet. Making really smooth adjustments. That's okay. Good, I can feel you pulling back, correcting for the loss of altitude there. Okay, so we're gonna stop turning on that north heading bug. So when it gets close, like maybe 20 degrees earlier, so right about here, start turning to the right, start turning to the right. Good, and push with your right foot a little bit. That'll help. Good. Okay, and it really wanted to climb there. That's because you needed all of that back pressure when we were turning. We're not oh, turning okay. anymore. So it uh, changes the aerodynamic forces on your airplane. Good, okay, we can push over, uh, push come forward rather. Yep, come back to 3,500. And we'll do one to the right this time. Yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. A little bit when we came up and it started climbing really yeah. fast. Yeah. 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 You feel it in your stomach? Yeah, my stomach is definitely moving. <laughs> All right, Quick so down. we're going to make one 360-degree turn. Good, and we can just take our time to get settled at the altitude, feel like you're not chasing it up and down, up and down. It, are you having to press forward a lot to hold the altitude right now? Okay, so use that trim button. Remember, push both halves. Yep, just push it forward, and you can hold it until you feel the pressure relief on your uh, control yoke there, or you can do small clicks, either one. Okay, so you see it's taking the nose down, and that's okay, that's the direction we wanted to go. But if, it, if it's too far forward, just give it a little bit of back trip, and we'll be okay. All right, we need to turn so we don't fly into the clouds. It's okay if it's not a steep turn. Yeah, we can just come around to like a south heading. I'll move your heading bug so you know where you're gonna end up. Cool. Are you doing a steep turn? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. It's okay. Good, so you can feel the G-forces as you're pulling back. So release a little bit of bank, turn it to the left a teeny bit, and that'll ease up that feeling on your stomach. Good, okay, now come back to 45 degrees bank, but don't let the nose come forward at all because you needed all that back pressure. Good, pull back, pull back, pull back, we're descending. Good, pull back, pull back. Okay, turn to the left a little bit, good, and pull back at the same time. There you go. So it's climbing and we want that, but we're gonna have to stop the climb in just a second here. Good, so you're releasing some of that pressure, even pressing forward a teeny bit. Good, now it's gonna try and fall out of it, so already applying some back pressure to stop it right there. There you go, good. Now look outside, see if you can keep the, the sight picture looking the same. Does your plane stay at the same angle to the ground? Do you see the same amount of sky and ground in your forward view? Some spots you don't really see any sky or ground. Just because it's just like a, a little haze moving. Really <laughs> the joys of flying in Texas humidity. Okay, so this is about 360 degrees. Why don't we roll out right there? On the east? Yep. Good, so you start turning to the left and push your left foot in. There you go, good. Now push that nose forward, push it forward. You're okay, it's okay if you push it. There you go. Good. So we'd have to work a little bit on coming out of the turns, right? Because it wants to climb aggressively every time. But the actual turns were really good. Excellent altitude control. I know it's all because of my coaching. Okay, right, turn us away from these clouds. Let's go this way. We don't have to go as steep as we did before. A normal turn would be at that big tick mark right there, or even a little less. And it still has a tendency to descend even in a normal turn, not nearly as much as it was in our steep turn, right? And we can start flying that way, go straight. So what do you think? It's hard. It's hard. Ah, it takes, just takes so practice. much pressure. Yeah. Right? Like it's, when you fly, it looks so, the way you do it, right? You're just like, Two fingers, yeah. So I'm using like, the trim oh gosh, a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, so we should have you use the trim a little more so you don't have to have so much muscle power in it. So every time you're pulling back and you're using muscles, right, you feel like I gotta put my biceps into this, right? We can be putting trim in or same with forward pressure. Well, that about wraps up today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.